Welcome to WGNO News. I'm Susan Rosian. And I'm Kurt Sprang. Orleans District Attorney Jason Williams is found not guilty on all 10 counts in the federal tax fraud case against him. We have team coverage tonight from our reporters at federal court downtown with reaction from the prosecution and the defense. Williams and his former law partner, Nicole Burdett, were found not guilty, as Kurt said, on 10 charges, but Burdett was found guilty on four separate charges. We begin with WGNO's Kenny Lopez, who has been inside the courtroom since day one. Kenny. That's right, Kurt and Susie. You know, it was a very emotional day in court today. After the verdict was immediately read, DA Jason Williams went up to his former law partner, Nicole Burdett, and they hugged and they cried together. In a way, they were celebrating the fact that they were found not guilty on 10 of the charges. But on the flip side, they were sad because Nicole was found guilty on four separate charges. Now, to recap, around 2 this afternoon, the jury found District Attorney Jason Williams and his former law partner, Nicole Burdett, not guilty on all 10 counts. They were jointly facing for tax fraud, conspiracy, and for not filing proper documents for cash payments over $10,000 or more. In this case, Williams owed the U.S. government more than $200,000 in taxes. Nicole Burdett faces four separate charges for tax fraud and was found guilty on those four counts. Now, she wept into tears after the verdict was read. The entire courtroom was on the edge of their seats after Nicole was found guilty on those charges because they didn't know what that meant for the joint charges that her and DA Williams faced. Now, the prosecution tried to prove that both Williams and Burdett willingly and knowingly committed tax fraud between the years 2013 and 2017 with their tax preparer, Henry Timothy, who's all already convicted on his own tax crimes. Defense believes he cooperated with prosecutors in order to get a lighter sentence for his own case. Now the defense called Timothy a sociopath and a liar who acted all on his own. But prosecutors said Williams and Burdett worked together with Mr. Timothy, although the defense argued there was no hard evidence. I mean, anyone who's wrongfully accused is angry. But he is not going to, you got to move on. So this is complete vindication, exoneration. You all heard the evidence, those of you in the courtroom. He needs to move on and he will do that. And I feel like it's a well-deserved verdict. I feel like that jury put a lot of thought into this trial. I feel like it was a politically motivated prosecution. Uh, I know the kind of person Jason is. I know how much he cares about New Orleans. I know, I, knows, I know how much he cares about being the district attorney. And we're lucky to have Jason. Jason's an asset to this city. He's got tons of talent. And I'm just extraordinarily relieved, not just for me, not for Jason, but for the citizens of New Orleans, that Jason can continue to help and, and be a public servant. You know, Kurt and Susie, there was a lot of support for D.A. Williams and Burdett in the courtroom today. It was a packed house. Even yesterday, Al Carnival Time Johnson stopped in to show his support for Williams. And then something that really stuck out today, right before the verdict was read, Judge Lance Afric told everyone in the courtroom, there are no winners, there are no losers, only justice prevails. All right. Thank you, Kenny, reporting there downtown. And we're going to continue our team coverage this evening with WGNO's Amy Russo, who has prosecutors' reaction. Amy, did the prosecution want to come out and talk there as the defense did? Well, Kurt, Susie, the prosecution really didn't say too much. Although they failed to convict the district attorney, Jason Williams, of any wrongdoing, they were able to prove enough evidence against his former law partner, Nicole Burdett, who was found guilty on four counts, and some of those include tax fraud. Now, defense attorneys for Williams, they say Burdett was basically collateral damage, and the prosecutors really wanted to convict the district attorney, but that just didn't happen. In a letter to Mike Magner, Burdett's attorney dated back to December 2019, lead prosecutor Kelly Ubinger wrote saying she had offered Burdett immunity and prosecutorial immunity. However, since Burdett did not come in and speak with the government, she was now a target in the matter. And Burdett, she ended up being the only one found guilty of anything. Today, as the verdict was read and not guilty after not guilty for the pair was announced, 
the heads of prosecutors began to hang lower and lower. After court was adjourned, Williams and Burdett exchanged a long emotional hug, both crying. It didn't take long for prosecutors to exit the building. The lead prosecutor, Ubinger, she has not commented quite yet. However, one of the other prosecutors did, thanking the jury for their time and effort, noting deliberations began on Tuesday and the verdict just came out this afternoon. We want to uh, thank the jury for their service. Uh, in our system of government, people are innocent until proven guilty. Um, although we may not always agree with the jury, we respect the work that they've done in this case. Um, and we're going to defer all of the comments until after Ms. Burdett's sentencing. And we are told that Burdett is planning to appeal her convictions. As of right now, her sentencing is set for November 30th. And we are joined right now by WGNO's legal analyst Cliff Cardone. So Cliff, tell us, does it appear that Nicole is taking any of the fall for Jason? Well, I think she's uh, taking the collateral damage fault issue. Um, she was given the immunity uh, letter and unfortunately she rejected that and then she became a target and she got swooped up in the charges that Jason Williams had to face. So unfortunately she's convicted, now she's got to exhaust her appellate rights if she uh, loses the appeal and the, uh, the underlying judgment is affirmed, then she runs the risk of losing her license to practice law. And tell us, what does this mean for Nicole Burdett and then also what does it mean for the district attorney? Well, for the district attorney, he's going back to the criminal district courthouse and going to practice prosecuting as usual. So nothing changes for him. He's a top lawyer in the city and he's going to conduct his prosecutions. All right. Thank you so much, Cliff. We always enjoy your insight. Thank you so much. We'll go ahead and send it back to you, Curtin Susie. All right. Thank you, Amy and Kenny, as well, at Federal Court for us this evening.